Hey guys, I'm Elizabeth Newsom and welcome to my booktube channel. So today I'm going to be cooking a recipe for lampus bread and you can find this on thevomitingchicken.com. So if you want to copy this recipe, I'll leave that down in the description below. And if And with that, on to the recipe. So of course, as you guys know, this is very bookish related because it's Lord of the Rings. I honestly haven't read the Lord of the Rings in years. I stopped sometime during the middle of the Return of the King book. <laughs> Stop giving me that look, Mom. But I will probably read it again sometime in the future. So for this recipe, you're going to need one cup butter, a half cup brown sugar or a fourth cup honey, and then two cups unbleached flour. So first step is preheat oven to 325. I suppose if you're an elf, you can just use your elven magic since you won't have an oven. Or fire, or I guess you'll have a different kind of oven. Anyway, you'll have to figure that out if you're really doing this elven style. Then you cream together the butter and the sugar. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and soften the butter just to help it cream. It doesn't say to soften it in the instructions, but that's what we're doing. Okay, so I looked up the definition of cream and it means to soften the butter and then mix it up with the sugar. So as you're creaming that, you add the flour and mix until it's gradually incorporated. So I've creamed together the butter and sugar and I gradually added the two cups of flour. Now I'm supposed to knead it until it's smooth, about five minutes, adding a bit of flour if necessary to keep the dough from sticking. And I am going to roll up my sleeves for this one. Medieval gowns are really pretty, but they're not very practical for cooking. At least not this one. This is actually kind of sticky to me. <clears throat> Doesn't knead very well. Is there a kneading method? So, I kneaded the bread for five minutes, or had the mixer do it rather. Now you roll it out until it's a quarter inch thick and then cut it into three inch or four inch squares.
All right, so I just took these out of the oven and I cooked them for only like 18 minutes. It recommends 20 to 25 on the recipe, but my oven tends to overcook things a bit. So here they are. And they kind of smell gingery and they're really soft. So maybe that's just because of how long I cooked them. And they're also very hot. It's kind of plain, but slightly sweet, and it actually tastes pretty good. This turned out a lot better than my caramel apples. Well, there you guys have the Lambus bread recipe. Again, the link for the recipe will be down in the description below. And if you guys have any more recipe ideas that I could do that are related to books, then please also let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please like it. If you like videos like this, then please subscribe because I post two videos a week and there's a lot of variety in them from kind of like funny bookish videos to bookish games to recipes. But with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.